Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Index numbers, we have discussed lots of index numbers, right? So even Fisher's time reversal, factor reversal. Today we will see one of the important index number that is vast price index number. This is also simple, only the thing is you have to remember the formula of what is given by vast. Okay? The formula is here P01 is equal to sigma P1 root of q0 q1 q means quantity q0 is base quantity q1 is present quantity sigma p1 into root of q0 q1 divided by sigma p0 here sigma p1 this is now sigma p0 root of same one q0 q1 into 100 very easy to remember here it comes sigma p1 here sigma p0 and root of q0 q1 root of q0 q1 into 100 that's it shall we go ahead a problem now the problem is given here like this calculate vast index number so base year price base year quantity current year price current year quantity items are five items are there so first we will give the name uh, base year price means p p0 so this is p0 and base year quantity means I will use another marker, it will be easy for you to identify. Mm, this is P0, quantity, base year quantity means Q0, current year means P1, current year quantity is Q1, identified. Problem is given like this, we know the formula is this, as per the formula what do we need first we will calculate. Q0, Q1. Q0, Q1, if you calculate, take out the root of this Q0, Q1. First step is we are calculating Q0, Q1, this one, Q0, Q1. Then after that, the same one Q0, Q1 will take out the root. Second step, root. If you remove it, we are getting this. Then after that, the same thing, multiplying with P1. The same thing is multiplying with P1. Now, as per the formula, the same thing we have to multiply with the P0 also. Right? So, next fourth column is P0, same one, this one. This is multiplying with one time with P1, second time with P0. If we provide these four columns, problem is simple. Shall we start? I will take the calculator. First one, what do we want? Q1, Q0. Q1 is here, this one. Q0 is this. Multiplication of these two. We have to multiply these two. Okay. Now 15 to 56. We need not to total it. This is not required. 2800. We'll remove the uh, root also simultaneously. If we remove the root, 52.9 we are getting. 52.9. Okay. So this 52.9, if we multiply with P1. P1 is uh, 2010. It comes to 529. If you multiply 52.9 with P0, P0 means 6 into 6. We are getting 317.49. Are you getting it? What I have done? First Q0, Q1 multiplied. Q0, Q1. 15 to 56. You got 2800. So 2800, I have removed the root. If we remove the root, we are getting 52.9. This 52.9, once if we multiply with P1, 52.99 into P1 means 10. It co it's coming to 529. In the same way, 52.9 multiplied with P0. P0 means 6. So, we are getting 317.49. Okay. In the same way, we will calculate the rest of the things also. Q1, Q0, next one is 100 into 120. It comes to 120, 12,000, yes, 12,000, 12, this will take out the remote, uh, re root will, <laughs> not remote, re root will re take out, so we are getting 109.5, 109.5, 5. 5 multiply with P1, P1 means 2, into 2, you are getting 2, 1, 209, 
219.08 means it's okay we'll leave it and the same one 109.5 if you multiply with the p0 p0 is here this one 2 p0 yes p0 last time p1 both are 2 so same amount you'll get 219 only okay both are 2 na p0 is 2 p1 also 2 in the same way, next we'll go to the third line, third one, C commodity, um, 60 into 60, 360, Q1, Q0, yes, 60 into 60, 360, 3600, 3600. If we take out the root, 60. 60 into P1. P1 is here. 6. 60 into 6. Same thing we are getting. Into 60 into P1. P1 is here. 6. 360. And 60 into next P0. 60 into P0 is 4. 60 into 4, 240, right, 240, next we'll go for D, D is Q0, Q1, D, Q0, Q1, Q0, Q1, 30 into 24, 720, if you remove the root, 26.8, 26.8 multiplied with P1, P1 here into 12, comes to 321.99 means 322 we can take, next is 26.8 into P0, P0 it is fourth one not 10, it means it comes to 20, 268. 26.8 into 10, it comes to 268. Now last bit uh, Q0, Q1. Q0, Q1. Last bit 36 into 40. 14, 40. We will remove the root of this 14, 40. 37.9. 37.9 we are getting. 37.9 into P1. P1 is here 12 into 12. It's 455. In the same way, 37.9 into P0. P0 is 8. Into 8. Comes to 303. 3.2. We'll total up only these two. As per the formula, we need sigma P1 into P1 into Q1, Q0, Q1 means entire this top one we are getting. Sigma P1 into root of Q0 into Q1 that we are getting. Divided by Sigma P0 into root of Q0, Q1. So, this total we are getting it. It will be easy for us to calculate. Okay. 529 plus 219 plus 360 plus 322 plus 455. So, we are getting 1885. In the same way, this total also will do uh, 317.49 plus 219 plus 240 plus 268 plus 303.2. We add, we are getting 1347.69. 1347.69. So, both the totals you got. I just apply it in the formula. Now, we will uh, formula already I have written. I will work out directly P01 is equal to what is the formula? Sigma P1 into P1 into root of Q0 Q1. Sigma P1 into root of Q0 Q1. This total means 1885 divided by 
sigma p0 into root of q0 q1 means this one only na sigma p0 into root of q1 q0 this total 1347.69 1347.69 into 100 right into 100 is there no now we will calculate it 1885 into 100 divided by 1347.69 we are getting 139.86 139.86 so this is valsius even fishes if you calculate also you will get the same answer only whatever may be the methodology whether valsius or mm, fishes or douglas a ball is any method if you calculate almost your answer will 139 point a small fraction difference as you will get it that's it am i clear uh, let me explain it once want to take screenshot yes let me explain this is very simple only formula you have to remember the formula is here sigma p1 into root of q1 q0 divided by sigma p1 there p1 here p0 sigma p0 into root of q1 q0 q0 q1 into 100 now as for the formula what just to focus on the formula and given problem how what we have to calculate first of all if you calculate q1 q0 q1 q0 then it's easy to take out the root so we have taken out the second step we have taken out the root then after that multiplied with p1 third column the same thing okay fourth column i multiplied with p0 as per the requirement so all the columns we have prepared applied in the formula that's it am i clear so next class one more index number we'll learn okay stay connected by the way don't forget to share this videos and uh, follow the important questions and playlist also what i have prepared specially for you all it makes you to easy to follow the subject revise more times okay stay connected have a bright career good luck